Hello, so today I'm going to show you how to use the InStyler Auto Hair Curler. This is the Tulip brand. Um, so for those of you who use curling irons, I admire you. I'm not really that skilled at using those. I either burn myself or um, just have difficulty holding the wand and curling it and getting the hair on it properly. And this has solved all my problems. So. I'll show you how super easy this is to use. I know there are quite a few reviews out there that says um, that say that basically they, you know, it either gets caught in there or that the curls don't last. But I've not had that experience. It can get caught in here if you use it incorrectly. But I'll show you how I use it. Um, I can normally do my hair in about maybe 10 to 15 minutes. So I'll show you how this works and um, how easy it is for me to use. The other thing that's fantastic about this InStyler is that it has these two little white prong things that let it sit on your table so that the barrel doesn't touch the table. So it's really good so that you can just keep setting it down when it's heating up or when you're not using it like that. So when you're done with it, you just click it off. So um, to basically turn it on, all you have to do is on the settings put it on too high and then the light will start flashing to show that it's heating up and so you just wait for it to um, stay on basically and then you'll know it's at the proper heat setting. You can do different heat settings, there's low, medium and high. Um, I tend to just keep it on medium and that works well for me even though you can't see it. Um, it says right, left, or alternating. Um, so if you're more skilled at hair curling and you want the curls to go in a particular way to frame your face, for example, you can change the direction of the curl. I'm not that skilled and so I never can remember which way it's supposed to go, so they have an alternating button. So I just tend to use the alternating button, so just kind of random curls in whatever direction um, constantly. So it just kind of goes one way and then the other, one way and then the other. Um, and that works well for me, so I just keep on alternating, but you definitely can control the direction of the curls if you want them to go in a particular way. So, I'll go ahead and show you how to use this. Got my bottom section here. So I'm going to grab, like I said, a section that's about this wide. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it inside the barrel, so you have to make it go through this hole here. So you go through the hole, make sure there's no hair outside of that because that's what is when um, you'll find that it will tangle. So you just put it in, um, pull it as close to your head as possible and make sure all the hair is in between here. And then you just go ahead and press this button. And what it'll do is it will take the hair and put it around and around and keep beeping until it needs you to let go. So you just hold it there, basically does all the work for you and beeps like that when it's ready to release. So when it beeps like that, you just take it out and you get that kind of perfect curl. Um, so I'll show you again on the other side of my face. It's, it's that simple. That's why I love this machine because not only is it really quick and easy, once you get used to the machine, you can do, you know, whatever else you want to do um, while curling. So I tend to watch a movie. And I'll show you again on this section. So again, I'm doing a section that's about this thick. So I'm showing you across my eyes. I can see basically that as a measurement. So I'm just taking that section. Again, you take the machine, you put it inside the barrel through this hole in the middle here so that there's no hair outside of it and it is better if you just get it as close to your head as possible so the curl starts as high as possible and like I said then you just press this button so so it just keeps whirring around until it has all the hair wrapped around the barrel and then it beeps like this. And you just hold it there until it does those three beeps. And then once it does those three beeps, you just let it go. 
then you have these perfect curls. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for the rest of my head. So I will um, be right back. Actually, just before I go, I'll show you what happens if you do put too much hair or if you put it in the wrong amount um, in the barrel. So I'll just grab a giant chunk of my hair, so too big for what you should be putting in the barrel, so that you can see the worst case scenario of what happens. Because I've done it before, it was terrifying the first time, but I assure you, it's it's knowing how to use a machine. It's not the machine. When you see reviews being like, oh, it like yanked my hair and it was so terrifying, and it you know burned my hair off, it's because they didn't follow the instructions. So this is too big of a chunk. Okay, and I'll purposely, I'll put some out of the barrel um, so you can see, oh, I'm a little bit scared now, <laughs> I'll show you basically what you're not supposed to do, um, and hopefully this won't be too much of a disaster. <laughs> see? So you saw the barrel noise stopped because it can tell that there's hair outside the barrel and that it's not on here correctly, so it stopped, it's stuck, and so you just have to gently pull your hair out because it does, since it's trying to go round and round, it does get stuck in there which is how people can burn their hair. So you have to, one, make sure you don't do a section too large and it has to be not outside of this hole here. So you saw that when I did it incorrectly, it just stopped turning. So I'll try that one more time. So again, it's incorrectly in there. It's not completely um, in the way it's supposed to be and it's too much hair. And so again, I'll just try that. See? So it will reject the hair basically. So it will start spinning and then it won't, you don't hear any beeping because it's not trying to um, keep curling or do anything and it needs you to remove your hair. So you just have to gently pull because it is essentially in essence getting tangled in the barrel. So you just pull it out. And so honestly, that's, that's essentially the worst that happened. Obviously it can get much more tangled and it can be a bit more scary, but that's because you're not inside the barrel properly. So all it says very clearly in the instructions is that your hair needs to go into the barrel in through that hole so that all of the hair is through and there's nothing poking out and that's how you can get it to properly go in. So I'll just do it even though this is going to be a proper curl because you need to go tight to your head. Um, but anyways, I'll go from here. So it keeps going. It will know if it's tangled and it will stop. And then this way it knows that there's no tangle, it's in there properly, it will beep to show that it's cooking, um, and then the three beeps to show that it's done. So obviously this will be only a half curl at the bottom of my head because I didn't go all the way top, but you can see. So this machine is brilliant. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do the rest of my hair. Whoops, let's not flash you all. <laughs> all right. So let's go ahead and do the rest of my hair um, and I will show you the finished product in just a few moments. This is the final um, curls um, that the machine makes. So this is without me doing anything other than using the machine and curling it. So I'll um, go ahead and hairspray it um, just so it stays a little bit longer. But um, it's you know it's very volumized. I haven't finger curled any of it yet, um, and I tend not to because then they go even bigger than they already are, so I don't really need that. Um, but yeah, so this is, this is the InStyler Auto Curler um, in the Tulip brand. And it's, as you can see, very curly and 
very volumized. So I hope this review was helpful. Like I said, I think the product is super easy to use and um, good for people like me who um, are not super skilled with using a curling iron and essentially this gives you um, curls that last pretty long. My hair doesn't hold curls very well because my hair is so thick and heavy but with the InStyler because it sucks it into the barrel so nice and tightly and holds it there until it deems a curl ready these last me for at least a few days so and all, all up this took me um, 15 minutes but I was going quite slowly um, just so you could see um, what I was doing and honestly, once you get used to it, it takes me about 10 minutes to do all of my hair, and my hair is super thick. So, uh, hopefully you enjoyed, and if you want me to review any other particular products, just comment down below, and I will see you all very soon. Bye! There we go. Fully hair sprayed. Hey guys, so just giving a final update um, on how the curls held. So it's now the end of Monday for me. So I've had this, um, these curls for about 48 hours now. So they hold really well. Um, I slept on them like my hair like normal. I didn't pin up my hair or anything like that. So not bad. So. Highly recommend the InStyler Tulip Auto Curl. I picked mine up um, secondhand from a hairdresser that was getting rid of some of her um, appliances, basically her hair appliances. And so I got mine for 30 bucks. So for $30, I highly recommend this. And if you want to check it out, I honestly think it's worth the money, even if it's just, you know, something for you to try out and get different kinds of curls if you want to see what a curling kind of wand can do instead of like a hair straightener. For those of you who curl with hair straighteners, kudos to you. I still don't have that talent. But anyways, thank you for watching and I hope this was a helpful review. Alright, see ya!